A ceremonial ribbon cutting this week marked the official completion of Vancouver Landing, part of the Port of Vancouver's 10-acre Terminal 1 project. Your commitment and hard work on this project is truly remarkable, and I am so incredibly proud of our team. Vancouver Landing has transformed what was an old concrete amphitheater at the west end of the site into more varied and inviting public space. Now a walkway through history with things to see and learn, even etched into the concrete at your feet. Port Commission President Jack Berkman says that's important. Because it's honoring the history, which is very, very deep. Not only the, our history here, but as was said earlier in our ribbon cutting, the history of the tribes that have lived here for thousands of years. Vancouver Landing is just the start. Terminal 1 also includes where the old red line at the quay used to be, now being demolished to make way for a huge public pier and market, plus other amenities for tourists and locals alike. What's to come compared to Pike's Place on Seattle's waterfront? With this kind of, kind of park sort of setting, um, it'll be a great place to come and grab some food, enjoy you know, the outside, again, right, right down on the river. A bit more than 100 years ago, the Port of Vancouver established its original warehouse at Terminal 1. An area with a lot of history being remade for Vancouver's future. It means yet more access to the waterfront, which people really want, and economic development, which means jobs, and people want jobs too. Tim Gordon, KGW News.